Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from MySocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're gonna talk about YouTube channel customization. YouTube has made customizing our channel very easy recently. Before we jump into the video, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump right into this and I'm gonna show you how to customize your YouTube channel. All this, the, the feature video, the video on the top, all these playlists, everything it's very very it used to be on different places but there is a new option inside our youtube studio and youtube has put everything in one place and made it really easy for channel admins uh, like myself so let's go find that new option so what i'm gonna do is here's my youtube channel uh let's click here and go to youtube studio and by the way, this option or this feature is still being rolled out. So if you don't have this inside your dashboard, inside your YouTube studio, be patient, give it a few more days. I, I think they released new features in batches. All right, so what you're gonna do is scroll down and you're gonna look for this new option right under monetization. It's called customization. Look at this. So this is what we need. And here is everything that you need to do to customize your channel. And there are three sort of options or tab, layout, branding, and then the basic info. I'm gonna open the channel in the new tab, just in case I need to reference anything for you guys. Let's pause this. All right, now let's go through this. Let me go back on this tab. So under layout, let's look at everything. So first section is the video spotlight. Add a video on the top of your channel. So it's kind of like a channel trailer for people who have not subscribe so right here and then the featured video for returning subscribers so what's the video on the top so this section right here if i go to my channel it's this video it gets the prominent space or prominent place on my channel right here and in my case i've selected the same video for people who are not subscribed and people who have subscribed but you can pick different ones and if you wanted to change you'll just click here and change video and then you can select a new video from your playlist or from your channel very very easy to do so that's the top section called video spotlight now if you scroll down it's the featured section so this layout or this section is let's go to my channel is right here so right under the spotlight video all these sections basically these are different playlists so popular uploads then my playlist for instagram marketing which is right here uh, then my playlist for Instagram stories, then my playlist for TikTok marketing. So what I've done is on my channel, different type of videos that I create, different type of content that I create, I have put them together in like different playlists and then these are those playlists, right? Because it makes my channel like really organized and then people can easily find the same type of videos if they can, uh, if they want to consume. And by the way, that can help with more watch time on your channel because if you have grouped similar videos together, someone can watch you know, from one video about Facebook ad, then to the next, then to the next, then to the next. So the watch time for your channel can go up. Let's go back. So here's the, the featured section. Uh, and if you wanted to, so here are all the ones I have. I can easily you know, move these, change the order of these. If I wanted to add a new section, I'll just click on add section. Let's see if I, I want to add another one. So I'll click on add a section and here are different options. I'll say, you know, for playlist, single playlist. And I have a playlist about reels. Let's see. Instagram reels, five videos in that. So let me click on that and see it added that at the bottom, right? And now when I hit, I hit publish, let's go back and the last section is work from home productivity tool. If I refresh this, let's scroll all the way down and look at this Instagram reels, right? Very, very cool. All right. So that was everything under the layout. Let's go to the branding and it's very self-explanatory. And like I said, you know, these options were there on our YouTube channel, but they were in like different places. I'm really happy that YouTube has created one place to customize our, our channel, right? That makes our job or our life easy. So your profile picture, if you wanna change your profile picture, just click here and upload a new one. And here are the requirements for your, uh, the size and, the, uh, and everything for your uh, profile picture. If you want to change your banner image, which is on the top, you can change that. And in my case, here's the banner image that I used right here. I'm happy with that. So I'm not going to change it. 
and then scroll down. So this is the video watermark. So this is the watermark that appears uh, during your video when people are watching your video. And in my case, I'm using just the subscribe image. So just save your, just go to Google or you can create one yourself to subscribe and then you can add that. Some people use their channel logos or their brand logos, which is fine too. But if you wanted to change it, I'll just hit change and then upload a new one from my computer. Very, very easy. So three elements inside the branding profile picture, banner image, and also the video watermark. Uh, let's go inside the basic info, which is like it says, the basic info, uh, your channel name and description. Here's the description of my channel. Very, very simple. Uh, and then the different links. So I have a link to, that subscribe to my, a subscription link to my YouTube channel. And then the second link is to my website. You can add more links if you want. And the links I want to use on the banner is the first link, which is right here. And that links appear right here. Look at this. And then my contact information. That's the, the pro tip I'll kind of mention uh, at the end that if you want people to, especially if we want to do brand deals, if you want to work with other people, if you want other people to reach out to you easily, make sure you uh, put your email address in here. Some people also put their email address in the description, totally up to you, but you can do, you have an option, a dedicated space for contact email right here. So there we go, guys. You can easily customize your YouTube channel by going to the customization option and going, going through all of these uh, three tabs. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave those questions below in the comments. Before you go, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.